Do you know what time of the year it is besides almost time for the holidays? That's right, it's the Game Awards time, as the awards are coming up on December 12th, and they have just announced all the nominees for every category so far. Now, we're not going to go over all of them here, but we are going to go over the biggest ones and the ones most relevant to our audience, being Nintendo titles. So let's bring up the website here and take a look, and we're going to start off right at the bat with a disappointment to any Nintendo fan, being Game of the Year, because there are no Nintendo games nominated in the Game of the Year category, as you can clearly see. But I do want to give a shout out to a game that's basically a Nintendo game, being Astrobot because that game is phenomenal and plays again almost as if Nintendo had designed it themselves. So if you have a PS5, you owe it to yourself to check it out yourself, and that's gonna be my personal pick for the game of the year of these six nominees. So again, check it out, and that game got nominated by the way for a ton of categories, including also best game direction. In fact, all six games of the uh, of, uh, listed here are the same ones as in game of the year, which I guess kind of makes sense, but also kind of weird at the same time that they're two different categories. In any case, let's move on to the actual Nintendo categories, and first of all the ones Nintendo was nominated in, I should say. And first up, of course, is the almost Nintendo dedicated category, being Best Family Game, of which we have four, or sorry, three titles from Nintendo, being Princess Peach Showtime, Super Mario Party Jamboree, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, on top of two other games, one again, which is almost a Nintendo game, being Astro Bot, and also the Plucky Squire. So these are all some pretty solid picks, although my personal favorites of these would be Astro Bot and Mario Party Jamboree. And between the two, I'll probably have to give the edge to maybe the latter of them, just because it is a great way of playing with your family, whereas Astro Bot is single player only and isn't the first game that would come to my mind when I think of wanting to play, you know, with my family members, especially for the holidays like Thanksgiving coming up. In any case, let's move on to the next category being Best Multiplayer, of which we have Black Ops 6, Hell Divers 2, Tekken 6, Warhammer, and of course, for Nintendo fans, Super Mario Party Jamboree, which obviously is my choice given how much I've been streaming that game. Super fun, and it's fun to see it in this category, though also expected. Next up, we have Best Action Adventure. Once again, we have Astrobot. We also have Prince of Persia The Lost Crown, Silent Hill 2, Star Wars Outlaws, and there we go, our Nintendo nominee being The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. So, again, a pretty solid selection of choice here, though I haven't played uh, Star Wars Outlaws at all, and I probably won't. Finally, we have the best mobile game, the final Nintendo category that I believe, uh, unless I missed any, being um, uh, a category I don't normally care about, but I will say with Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket being nominated here, this actually does help me interest this year, because I started playing it lightly recently, and it has a really nice UI, and uh, they've actually done a pretty good job with the app, so I need to play more of it, but I can see why it was nominated, because it's a really well done game, and uh, I actually it's actually a mobile game I might actually care about, which is saying something that I almost never play on my, on my phone. So there you go, everyone. Those are the biggest categories for Nintendo fans, <laughs> including those that don't include any Nintendo games at all, but these are the categories I think will be most relevant to you. But if you want to check out the full list of nominees, I'll post it in the, uh, in the description in the discussion in the uh, description below so you can click through yourself and check them all out for yourself and especially every category with Astrobot which is a ton of them and again you really need to play that game if you're a Nintendo fan and you're feeling like Nintendo got left out this year because that is absolutely a Nintendo caliber game and deserves every category it's nominated for so there you go thanks for watching what do you think of these nominees let me know in the comments below and with that we'll catch you later probably for the actual game awards which I think we'll be streaming we'll see but I think we are like we do most years so thanks for watching everyone and again we'll catch you later bye